and Zahra and welcome back to Speech Fairies. We're going to be doing the third day of our Easter countdown calendar and our collection of Easter books. So let's start with number three. This one is a little bit smaller than number one and two. So, oh, it's in the bag. Oh, so they're like little decorations. There's a butterfly, there's flowers. That's cute. So, if you put it together, it looks like this. But you can put it together in a bunch of different ways. Okay, we're going to get into our books now, and we're going to take turns. So this one is one of my favorites, Fisher-Price Little People. It's the original Little People, uh, which are my preference. As instead of the new ones, I'm not as fussy on the new ones. But this one has 45 flaps to lift. So, just to give you an idea, a quick one. There's lots of different flaps in and around the household, which is really functional. And you can search for lots of different things that are happening on, e on Easter day. So this is like Easter egg painting. This one actually shows the bunnies and their preparations for Easter day. And we've got Easter egg hunt. And there's lots and lots of flaps on every page. And this is like an Easter parade picture. And the last one is another out, an outdoor Easter egg hunt. So lots of nice action words and prepositions. Tons of vocabulary for this one. So this one is my favorite um, for working on any of the speech and language goals. Okay, next. So here we have another little people um, thing. So we have the Easter sing-along. I listened to this almost every Easter when I was younger. I loved it. Um, pretty much I used to listen to almost every um, Little People album, um, depending on the time of year, like the Christmas sing-along and the um, Halloween sing-along. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> next is Today is Easter. This one actually came from our dollar store, so it was $1.25, but I love this author, P.K. Hallinan for today is Easter and it's a nice sequence actually so it starts with the kids sleeping and then they wake up what a glorious day and it shows them getting ready so it's a really nice sequence and kids can relate to all the different steps that happen during the day and it rhymes so it's really nice um, literacy activity for preschool when you're working on rhyming so that's one of my favorites too and here we have there was an old lady who swallowed a chick. It um, There's many different ones, like there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I'm pretty sure that was the original. So this is like the Easter version. So there's like, she swallowed the candy to sweeten the egg. She swallowed the egg to jazz up the straw. She swallowed the straw to cover the chick. I don't know why she swallowed that chick, but she didn't get sick. That's a good one for and us. So so they're really funny illustrations, and kids like all the silliness. The last silliness. thing she swallowed was a bow to cover the basket. Mm, so it was a basket at the end? Good. So we've got Easter Egg Hunt. Another. This one's a pop-up book, which is good. Because kids, sometimes my kids have a hard time paying attention for a flat book, but they will look for a pop-up or a lift the flap. So it's a rhyming one as well. Easter Bunny will arrive today. He'll hide colored eggs along the way. And songs and games and Easter Day races will hunt for eggs in all different places. Lots of prepositions in this one. So it's a nice engaging one. I can't remember where I got that one. Mm -hmm. And this is a really good um, word book. Where Can Bunny Paint? Word by Word First Reader by Mel Michael Rex. So there's some really good words like brush wall no truck stripes does it rhyme? blue um it doesn't rhyme so basically the bunny wants to paint so he has um his paints and his brush 
but he wants to paint somewhere, so he tries to paint on the wall. It's the oh. man who says no, because he can't paint on his wall. Oh, okay. Go. So eventually he nice finds birds. an egg nice to paint on. Oh, that's perfect. For All Easter. right. This one's called Where is Nikki's Easter Egg? So, Nikki's, you can do the possessive S. Where is Nikki's Easter Egg? Is Nikki's egg in the tree? So, the nice prepositions. And then we can look in the tree. And it's scat, cat. It's my egg. So we can talk about, do some negation there as well. Um, is Nikki's egg in the grass? Let's look behind the grass for more prepositions. And it's a duck quack. Keep away from my egg. So it's another opportunity for negation. Good negation and prepositions in that one. But it's a nice sturdy board book. And it's nice and short so that our friends can pay attention. That one also was from the dollar store as well. Dollar twenty-five. Here we have Max's Chocolate Chicken by Rosemary Wells from Max and Ruby. Um, so Max and Ruby are going on an egg hunt. So I'll show you here. It's a cardboard book. So there's the Easter Bunny. Um, I love you, said Max, which is really cute. Um... So there's Ruby. So the one who finds most of the eggs will get the chocolate chicken. And Max is finding um, mud. So here it says he made, then he made ant and acorn pancakes. So he's not, not hunting for eggs like so, he's supposed to be. But Max <laughs> ran away and hid with the chocolate chicken. Mm -mm. So I see you, Max. Said Ruby, but she didn't. Max ate the chicken's head. <laughs> I'll give you half the chocolate chicken, Max, yelled Ruby. Max ate the wings. So then he popped out of his hiding place. Max, said Ruby, how could you do this to me? In the meantime, there's another chocolate chicken that appears. <laughs> I love you, said Max. <laughs> so we love how he always has like a magic word of the day. In the series, it's like fire truck, and he's trying to tell Ruby something, but she'll never listen. My next book is Fuzzy Wuzzy Bunny Tales. We love this book because we haven't stuck on the Velcro yet, but there are these little pom poms. Mm -hmm. We actually la I laminated it, and then I haven't put the Velcro dots on yet. So <clears throat> I took apart the book and I laminated it so we could reuse it. It was originally intended not to have laminated pages. It was just regular pages, but I wanted the bunny tails to be reusable, so we laminated it. This one is The Golden Egg, which is a really pretty looking book. And again, it is Little Duck, Little Duck, Where Did You Go? Searching there, searching high and low. So a little bit of rhyming, all bright and bold. We're looking for an egg that's special, that's made of gold. So we've got little duck looking all through the garden for eggs that are golden. And there's lots of prepositions in this one too, so because it's a flat book. Oh no, says chick, it's blue. But you can talk about all the different attributes of the egg, that it's shiny and it's hiding. So where could they go? And, they, and there, you can talk about all the different colored eggs and where they're hiding. So my next book is Happy Easter Curious George. We have always loved this series by Margaret and H.A. Rays. So George feasts funny and paints eggs. That's so nice verbs. Yeah. And he's juggling and he's painting, he's multitasking. Lots of good action words in there. Okay, we've got Eggs, Eggs, Lift the Flop Book. This one's a bit shiny again. You can tell I, I picked all the Lift the Flop books. I just love them. And again, it's a rhyming book. So hooray, it's Easter, a day of fun. There are eggs to find for everyone. Let's look behind the bush. <gasps> Grab your baskets. Ready, set, go. Search here, search there, search high and low. So that one has a nice sturdy one if you just need a book that has a few pages to get. Kids starting to be interested in books. 
And there's lots of boys and girls in this book as well, so you can work on pronouns. So the next one is a joke book called Easter Crack Ups. Knock Knock Joe's Funny Side Up. Mmm, so the sunny side up. Want to so, tell us a joke? Yeah, sure. Knock Knock. Who's there? Adam. Adam who? Add them up and see who has the most eggs. Oh, big one. <laughs> okay, this one's called Spot's First Easter. Eric Hill, he does uh, the Wear Spot book, which a lot of species use very regularly for different, uh, um, different goals. And this one is, again, Lift the Flap, one of my favorites. How many eggs did the Easter Bunny hide? And you have to look. And, oh. Bunny gives us a hint on the very first page that there's six hiding, so that's good for the s, s sound. We're counting down to find as many eggs as we can. And Spot is a nice S blend. And all the friends join in to the fun looking for the eggs. And there's a little bit of literacy there too, where they've got like the, the speech bubbles. And when they find things, they say something. So we're always look we are like books that have speech bubbles. Okay. Next we have another um, Fisher Price Little People book. Easter is here. Over 20 fun flaps to lift. So this is a lift the flap book. So spring has chased away the winter. So there's like a little, so there's little bunnies coming out from hibernation. And they lift the flap, you see the puppy. It's really cute. Um, we love lift the flap books. You lift the flap and it's like a surprise for the kids, so. Yeah, they love that. There's, these two are kind of go together. These two here, Easter egg heads and Easter bunny heads. So they're kind of silly <laughs> pictures. But what I did with these is again, I took them apart so when you do take them apart, I keep the staple and then I just bend it back in because the staples are long and they're really strong staples that hold the book together. So keep those staples in where you can. And then you can laminate the pages and I put the loose tacket again from Michaels. It's very sticky stuff as you can see, but it, you can reposition it, which is nice. Actually, yeah, so these are just all silly faces and you can mix and match them. They have them. really silly illustrations, like that guy's a rocker egg or princess egg, so you can mix and match their faces. There's Miss Egghead 2002, you can see how old this book it's is. really cute. <laughs> and this is the Easter Bunny Heads, and it's the same kind of thing, so that there's lots of extra pieces, I put them on the front page, and there's a snake bunny, and an eagle bunny, and a puppy bunny. So there's lots of silly ones. Good for working on phrase level too. It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. Oh, we like that. It's a sound, it's a story with sound. So here we have the words like. It's got a lot of words. <laughs> then he imagined that he was inside the egg too, dancing with all the bunnies. So it has this little symbol here. Same as this button. So you press this. And music to dance. <laughs> and you don't have to read all the words. You can always um, just simplify the action on the page. So don't feel like you always have to read all the text because it takes too long. You might lose their attention. So like Zara did, she just read the last sentence. Maybe and get them to press the button so they stay interested. Yep. Perfect. Okay, and this one is Corduroy's Easter. I love any corduroy book, if you ever see any of these. And I've been getting these ones thrifty, so I've been buying them at Value Village. You can see this one. I paid a whole $1.99 at Value Village, which is our thrift store here in Canada. And Corduroy's Easter. I love Corduroy's Halloween as well. But these are also beautiful Lift the Flap books. And they always take place in like a familiar place. So this one's like a garden area, in the forest, in the playground. So really relatable to kids. This one's a rainy day and there's lots of flaps on each page. 
and they really have a nice sequence to them. So always pick up corduroy if you see him. So next I have The Night Before Easter. There are a lot of books like this, like The Night Before... Um, St. Patrick's? Yeah, we showed that one um, on St. Patrick's Day. There's um, a Night Before Summer Camp? Yeah, there are a lot of um, cute little books like this. So this one is The Night Before Easter. So, it was the night before Easter, just before dawn. Not a creature was stirring out on the lawn. <laughs> I love the rhyme. Our baskets were set on the tables with care, in hopes that the Easter Bunny soon would be there. And we also have Bunny Trouble. So by what? So it's by Hans Wilhelm, and it's called Bunny Trouble. So it's the day before Easter. Um, almost all the bunnies are busy except Ralph the bunny. He wants to play soccer. That's all he wants to do, but he gets into lots of trouble along the way. Um, so see, he's knocking off the hats, mm -hmm. smashing through the windows. Oh, good for S blends. And S for soccer. Like soccer. Yeah, that's a good one. It's got a little bit more words to it, but I think you could simplify it because we didn't have an even number. This one is a nice kind of I spy book. So it has on the left, all the children are excited to wake up and begin their Easter hunt. And it says Sarah finds, and you have to kind of describe the little things that they find. So a blue or a green egg with blue zigzags, a little gray bunny and a little brown bunny. So you can be a little bit more descriptive and try to get them to do a little bit of I Spy. You can work on S blends too when you're doing I Spy. The best Easter hunt ever. So here we have a pop-up book, Easter Bugs. So spring has sprung and, lift and left winter behind. How many Easter bugs can you find? And there's a dip-dyed rainbow egg. So there's three Easter... Uh, <clears throat> Easter bugs. Plip plop, it's a shiny silver raindrop bugs. They're silly. So that's cute. This is a whole series, this bug Who's series. in the golden egg? A busy brown buzzing bee. So that'd be good for S or... Describing. Or B. Mm -hmm. Who's in the red speckled egg? So there are a bunch of them like that. So it's a little pop-up bug. So they're really cute. They're like a springtime like theme. Mm -hmm. I like those eggs. Good pop-ups. All right. That's most of our collection of books. There's lots of varieties. So you can pick and choose what you want to work on um, with each book and each client or each family member if you're a parent who's tuning in. So we encourage everyone to please subscribe to our channel. We're going to, if we, when we get to 100 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. And I think we have a few doubles of our books. Yes, I, we could some, maybe do some giveaways for books and stickers. Um, so please hit that subscribe button and be sure and like this video if you have anything to add or one of your favorite books that you really like, then you can put it down in the comments so anybody watching this video can learn from you as well. There are seven days left of Easter. Mm -hmm. So that's really exciting. And seven more surprises to find in our Oster calendar. So thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody. Bye.